Hey everybody, my name is Sam. And I'm Angela, and welcome to our channel. Welcome back to the next part of the full playlist where we're installing a DIY multi-zone mini split in our mobile home. Today we are going to go ahead and hook everything up and turn on the AC. It is about time. <laughs> we have an extra line set box here that we're not going to use for our house because we don't need it. And this is all purchased in one big kit, so we really don't have a purpose for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this and let you guys see up close and personal and kind of go over the contents of the line set because this is the box that probably is the most questionable or confusing and has a, quite a few things going on. First and foremost, you are gonna see this giant white coil. These are your line sets within this white plastic sleeve are the actual copper coils that your refrigerant flows through you've got them pre-capped and everything with a little bit of pipe insulation that is what lives within this white coil and this is what runs from your indoor air handler unit all the way out to your condenser also in this box is your wall thimble this is what mounts from the inside of your home through your wall to the outside and this is what you cut to the thickness of your home and then slide your outdoor thimble on to seal everything up. You also have some pipe insulation. This is for after you connect all your line sets together. And then you've got this horrible PVC wrap stuff. It's, it's no good, but it's also in this box. To answer the question of how you exactly seal this up to keep critters from coming in your home, what they give you is a small little pack of sealing clay. It is literally like clay or Play-Doh that you might work with. We used a little bit of this. Okay, we used the whole pack, found that it was lacking, and we filled the rest of our um, pass-throughs with the Lexel sealant to give a waterproof, rodent-proof, total seal-up job to close everything up. So what they give you is really small, and I don't know what they're thinking unless that's just kind of the minimum they get away with. So we used Lexel and sealed everything up nice and tight for water, bugs, and any kind of other intrusions from the outside world to the inside. This is your condensate drain line. It is just a clear or a little plastic hose. It pops apart at one of the junctions. There we go. It just snaps apart like that, and you basically trim it to fit to let it hang down for your condensation to drip out from inside your home and put it outside. They give you plenty of this in this box, so you're good there. And the last thing in this kit is these monster zip ties. These are designed to help bundle the coil of line set hose that you're gonna have left over and keep everything nice and tidy. That is a look at the line set box contents. I also have a coupler kit that is extra, so I'll go grab that and show you guys up close and personal the contents, bits, and bobbins of that. Here is the coupler kit box, and again, this one is an extra one because I thought we needed it, didn't need it, and it was all bought as a kit, so I can't take it back to the store. So, you guys luck out. We have some show and tell time. Uh, the number one parts for the coupler is the actual brass fittings that you clamp or tighten to each end of the line set to connect them together. You have a gray one and a blue one, or the large thread and small thread. They only fit on certain lines, so you can't really mess this up. In addition, they give you some pipe insulation to make sure everything is sealed up nice and tight. And then you get your communication wires, what it's called a lot, but really it's the power cord for the indoor air handler units. They run on 220 volt, at least the ones we have do. So this is some pretty thick wire. So, I mean, hey, I'll probably use for this probably. So you will have to splice this in because these, at least in our case, did not come pre-terminated with the spade connectors, but that's not, I mean, horrible to do considering if you've made it this far, you'll be able to tackle this too. That's it as far as the coupler connections. It's pretty basic. I do like how they give us a long length of wiring they didn't expect you just to tack on your own and they didn't just leave you hanging to go buy it yourself separately this was truly an all-in-one kit we didn't have to buy anything extra at all with the exception of that three and a half inch hole saw to drill through the house the kits the contents everything came with everything we needed 
which was a great surprise. I mean, I guess I was kind of not expecting it, but they came through for us. Good job. These are definitely connections you want to hand thread to begin with so that you don't cross thread them. So that's all we're gonna do right now. We will come back after we leak test everything and cover it up and insulate it, but that's it. That's how you connect your line sets together to get longer runs, as many as you need. Line sets are sold in 16 and 25 foot lengths, and then you also get the wire with it as well. So not too bad. I mean, it is what it is. Okay. All right, keep pulling guys. We'll tell you when to stop. We got our boys underneath the porch doing the really, really hard labor that adults don't fit and that's running the stuff between the porch and the house on back to the end. What I'm gonna do next is go ahead and start trimming the next uh, unit. This is where it comes out of our dining room. I use metal snips for cutting the plastic because they're really easy to do and it's just like cutting paper with scissors. As far as my sealant to seal everything up weather tight, I'm using my favorite sealant of choice which is Lexel. There'll be a link to that down below. It is hands down the best sealant that I have ever used anywhere and I use it all the time. Note to self and people other than self do not run your wire until you fished it through your thimble our boys did all that work fishing this wire and i just had to pull it all back out sorry guys that's one of life's lessons Angel had asked earlier if I wanted to use an oscillating tool for this, and I said no, because I would be worried about hitting the refrigerant lines with an oscillating tool. So in that sense, I would not recommend using that tool. You guys do what you want to, but you spend this much money and do all this work, the last thing you want is to cut a refrigerant line. This is the last one that we are connecting sure. up here, and then we got to connect it all down at the condenser. But this is the last of the ladder work. I'm sure. This is the joy of coupling these giant hoses together when everything gets to the condenser and you're just surrounded with excess. This is by far the downfall or the bad thing about mini splits. While I am literally sitting here on the ground hooking everything up, I want to explain a couple of things with this area while it's fresh on my mind. The condenser unit, this box that sits outside your house that has the fan on it. Sometimes it'll be called compressor. Either way, the box that's outside that everything plugs into looks more complicated than it really is. Depending on what model mini split you buy, whether it is a single, dual, triple, or quadruple zone, they go up to four zones and this size at least, you're going to have that number of brass fittings to connect up. All your hoses that run from inside the house out have a place to go here on this panel. So if you have a single zone, you're only gonna have two brass connections. If you have dual, you'll have four, or if you have a three zone like us, you'll have six. The biggest thing you wanna do is mentally label each of your air handlers inside with a letter, A, B, C, or D. And you want to connect the hoses from A where it's labeled here on the box, A. 
that you want to do the same thing with your electrical wires. You want to make sure that everything is connected properly so that this unit can control and run the electricity and refrigerant lines to each unit properly. Other than that, the connections are pretty easy. You just use your adjustable wrench or your channel locks, tighten everything down, and fit the wires in, tighten them up, and everything's labeled great. It's actually really, really easy to do, which is probably one of the real reasons. You know, they market it as a DIY product, and it is really DIY. These are the valves. This is where you take these little brass caps off, and using the Allen key, you open up, and it releases the refrigerant into the system. So Sam is still connecting everything, but we do need to go ahead and leak test this. So I made a little spray bottle with soap suds. Well, soap, dish soap and water. And spray it on there and see if we have any bubbles. All right, hon, power it on. What? Oh. on? Oh, come on, climate control. See, auto. Sixty-five. Uh, Sixty-five, baby. See mode. Oh, it was on fan. Now it's on cool. The system is running and everything is getting cooler in the house. This is awesome. One of the things we gotta do is insulate and close up all of these joints and open parts of the system. Well, after we've leak tested, I think Angel's leak tested it three times, which is awesome, because we don't want any leaks, but it passed, good job. Um, now what I'm doing is taking like a big sheet of, feels like black rubber, it's a little bit sticky, and you're supposed to wrap it around these brass couplings, and it's supposed to help from sound deadening or noise as I'm close to it, I thought it was leaking because I heard but it's just the sound of the coolant running through the lines. So, little tidbit there, um, if you leak tested it and it's passed and it's running, but you hear something, that's probably what it is. And I guess that's what these are for. So the black pads don't really stick to the pipes much, but when you wrap them around and stretch just a little bit, it definitely sticks to itself. We can already see a lot of water coming out the drain lines. Yes. Which is awesome for our house because it is very humid inside. Bye bye humidity. <laughs> it's going to really help a lot with air quality inside the house, too. Mm hmm. That's nice. This has been a heck of a job. I will go ahead and say this has been a very difficult DIY job, but we are also trying to do this all in one day. So. We're and hot. it's been really hot and humid. And we got rained out a couple times. Or well, it started to rain, but we didn't give up. Angela was hovering over me with an umbrella as I was wiring up the condenser, which is why there's no footage of that, by the way. I was in the rain doing electrical work. Not live wires, but you know. All right, now to tape the devil out of it. I gotta say one of the things that we were not expecting and were not prepared for is how quiet the outdoor condenser is it is running full blast it's never gotten louder than this and it's so quiet i mean you can hear me we're talking here or i guess i'm talking you're listening and it's literally four feet away right there doing its thing and it's so quiet that was one thing that we weren't expecting because our last experience with central air unit was, I mean, eight years ago, so the unit was pretty old there at that place. But when it kicked on, you would hear it. I mean, it had like a electrical arc type sound of like, like ramp up and the fan sounded like a, I don't know, a turbo jet prop behind your house. This thing is amazingly quiet. No doubt that's probably also what makes it a lot more energy efficient. It's not some giant motor kicking on and off and I don't know. Either way, that's really neat. We love how quiet it is, and oftentimes we won't really even hear it or notice it, especially over the sound of the kids. So, yeah, if you're wondering about mini splits or curious, or maybe you have a loud house unit, these are incredibly quiet. 
So here you can see the line set that's coming out of the house. This is the one in our bedroom back here. And you've got this white sleeve that inside of it is the um, two refrigerant lines. Exterior to that, you've got your condensate drain hose and your power cord. This is not how we're going to leave it. We are looking for some line set covers. It's basically some plastic trim pieces that go around this and this goes inside of to both protect it from the elements and being hit or knocked or whatever and also make it look a lot better. For now it's fully functional and this is what you get out of the kit so it's good for us to show you guys just uh, what you're in for. So maybe you can go ahead and source and purchase your line set covers the same time you do your mini split or at least know this is what you'll be working with out of the box. It's not pretty, it is operational, but it's really not pretty. Well, that is great to have AC in the house again. It is. And truth be told, it's been a little bit of time since that clip and where we are today. Um, it has been so nice to be working in the hot heat out here and then go inside. And it's like walking into a hotel room because it's not humid inside mm -hmm. like it has always been. And it's really nice and cold. It is. It's really cool. Um, I have also enjoyed the smartphone app with the Mr. Cool system. Um, they're funny. When you adjust them, they'll beep if you have it set to beep when you do things. So we may be sitting in the living room and all of a sudden Angel here beeps from the dining room or the boys' room. And she's like, what are you doing? I was like, well, I think it's a little bit toasty in here. Or vice versa. The boys are freezing. Turn it up. So that's cool. Um, in addition to that, we were over at my brother's house in Tennessee well, like a week ago, maybe. Oh, sometime in the past. And um, we're starting to get our way home or whatever. And we were talking about how hot it is. And then crank the heat down. And she kind of chuckled because, hey. I'm uh, reverse preheating the house. <laughs> so Getting that, it ready for us. Yeah, it's really cool to be able to do that to adjust the um, air conditioning or I guess in the wintertime the heat even when you're not home. So I know a lot of people are not necessarily into that kind of stuff, but I am or we are probably more me. Uh, but that's a really cool feature and I, I do like that. So. And the remotes are really nice too. So yes, it comes with one for each one. So that's really nice too. Especially mm -hmm. since you can turn off the LED lights because that's really important at night because it'll light your bedroom up. <laughs> it will. Definitely. Yeah, we turned the ones off in both bedrooms and I don't think we've done the dining room one yet. No, it's, it's fine. still on. It actually kind of acts like a nightlight in there, so it works. Tell them the truth. How ugly this thing really is and our uh, part of the mini split. Well, it is pretty darn ugly. For some reason, it reminds me of the E.T. movie with all the pipes and stuff coming out of the house mm -hmm. am i remembering right i think you are <laughs> my head says yes so there are these big ugly pipes coming out but we do have plans for that to make it look better but hey it's on the back of the house and nobody really sees it yeah just these people well. Yeah, um, there are line set covers that we will be getting and installing. We've got to measure and find what's best and affordable. Um, so that's coming up down the road, you know, some pretty fying of the mini split. Uh, we'll also do an X number of month review. Uh, we are tracking our energy usage with our power company. So we'll be and how has it gone in well, the past couple of weeks? Well, uh, I don't want to spill oh. those beans. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. I guess I will. I was forced to spill the beans. Uh, so far, it is, it is really, really cool. Um, no pun intended, I guess. It is really cool, Although, honey. my dad jokes just went wild in my head. So far, I have not noticed any difference in our power consumption since we've installed these. Which doesn't make sense, I guess, because we should see something. So, I guess right now the jury is still out. Not sure just yet. If that's a worthless answer, I guess it's one. It kind of works our power company gives like daily you spent x number of dollars on power yesterday so like daily reminders or texts but their online data for usage is slow and it's a month or two behind usually so we'll see but that'll be included with our review and everything um don't know if that'll be with the printing up the mini splits but you guys will find out when we get to it well, guys, thanks for coming along as we get our AC turned on. And leave a comment below. We love to read them. And otherwise, we'll see you next time on the homestead. See you. Bye.
Okay. Yeah, it's good now. Yeah, it's. it's I'm surprised the camera still works as much as we put it through. Okay. Got your face in it too. What you doing? Working? I couldn't think of anything else better to say. Your air handler, you want to give it an arbitrary number. No, that's a letter. Okay, that's all I got to say. All right, refrigerant lines are done. Now electrical. All right, this is A. A. All right, so in this video part, they just saw uh, we were inside and we we're like high fiving and yeah, it's all hooked up. Okay. Well, that is great to have AC in the house again. It is. And truth be told, it's been a little bit of time since that clip and where we are today.